Hello, Johnny from Edwards here, and today we're in Bidford on Avon viewing Ballinley House, which is just off Victoria Road. Um, if you are familiar with Bidford, you will know Victoria Road. I'll just spin the camera around for you. Um, so one thing to note, obviously, it's actually off Victoria Road. I'll just give you a quick idea of where we are here. And you've got a private drive, which is just shared with about three other bungalows. But it's nice because obviously you're not right on the road. So it's very quiet and you've got a private shared drive which is just something to note which to be honest the vendors have been here a few years and so they've never had any issues and it's actually great because it offers you that kind of peace and tranquility that you get from being off the road so here we are this is obviously Ballinley house here your drive obviously begins here with the block paving and you can see you've got off-road parking for multiple cars it's actually a really large property, built um, kind of mid 80s, 2,500 square feet approximately. Just take you inside now. So what you've got here, two of the bedrooms are spread over the ground floor and you've got two bedrooms on the first floor. So it's a very flexible accommodation. If you are looking for a forever home and going forward you want uh, more of a bungalow style living, you've got that. As you can see, there's a double room which we've just gone through. I'll just pan around for you. With built-in storage. Nice dual aspect as well. And then you've got a really large, larger than average ensuite. Now I'll just take you to have a look. Here you've also got a downstairs cloakroom for guests. Put the light on. So again, very handy for guests. As I said, a very flexible space, having two of the bedrooms on the ground floor. And here you have a really large living dining room. Again, I'll just do a quick pan around for you. Um, what you have at the back here is a lovely vaulted ceiling with these Velux windows. And a, as you can see, a very large window, so it just lets loads of light in. You could really host a great dinner party here. Lovely doors leading out onto the patio there. So obviously in the summer, you can open those up and it just becomes an extension of this room, really. Just pan around for you. Again, nice big Velux windows, vaulted ceiling. These are actually candles here, so you have candle lights. There are lights at the top as well, but you can light all the candles and have a really nice feel. Again, it is actually a very bright room, as you can see, even the windows over here, either side of the fireplace are larger than average. Very versatile space. Now I'll lead you through to which is one of the wow factors. Here you have an amazing L-shaped kitchen dining room with this lovely mezzanine balcony which goes up to like a second living room area almost, like a little snug, it's brilliant. Um, I'll show you after. Again, nice big Velux windows. The vendors have actually just replaced um, all of this Indeset oven system here and you've also got hot point hobs here which have been all recently replaced. As you can see, just for the kitchen it's a great size and it flows round into this lovely dining room area which has all of these Velux windows, again, very bright. I haven't got any lights on here and you can see how bright it is. This room, just off the dining area, used to be the garage, which has been kind of quite well converted. You've got new carpets in here. You can still see some of the spare carpets there. That leads right out to the parking as well. This is currently being kind of advertised as the fourth bedroom, but you could use it for anything you want, if you want a separate living room, a home office, or, or anything like that, really. You've got another door going out here, which just takes you back round to the parking area where we were. You have brilliant storage cupboard here. Just close. And then in here, you have a kind of utility cupboard to keep the noisy machines out of the house, which the vendors have utilised very well. And again, I'll just pan back around for you. So you can, if you have dogs or children want to come in with your muddy boots, you can come in through this entrance, not tread mud through the house. And you've got a separate basin over here as well. And this becomes almost like a bit of a utility area. But it flows great. I mean, like I said, it's so bright. You can see 
I'll just give you one more shot actually of those windows. Such a brilliant space. Now I'll take you upstairs. So as you can see, the vendors are currently using this pretty much as a second living room. Lovely outlook there. And again, it's a great space if you want to work from home or have a play, play area for the children. You can keep an eye on them whilst you're cooking. And it looks down onto the kitchen. So again, a very cool space. I mean, when you're here, it just feels very modern and it's very rare to find a property that has a mezzanine balcony like this actually looking down onto the kitchen. So it's like a very cool space if you've got guests around or you want to have a, a dinner party or something, it's, it's brilliant. Up here, you have a further two bedrooms. So again, if you're not a fan of having your bedrooms on the ground floor, um, you've got that here. This one's currently just being utilised as a library. Um, it is a good size double though. I mean, you could easily fit a, a double bed there and you've got full run of all this integrated storage there. So you do not need um, a freestanding wardrobe. I'll give you a, an idea because it goes right back into the eaves as well. So obviously excuse the clutter it is a storage cupboard but just to give you an idea it goes right back into the eave so it's not just a, a normal wardrobe you've got more storage in here and this is great you could make a really great master suite if you wanted to up here because you could potentially put a door in here and you've got this great bit of landing space which would be utilized as a dressing room and you've got another bathroom upstairs Again, Velux window. And you have another double bedroom. Again, lovely Velux windows, very bright as you can see, I haven't got the lights on at all. And double wardrobes, which again, go right into the eaves. You can't really see there, but it's just brilliant for space. So going back down here now. Do one more pan around for you and then we'll go out to the back garden. So as I said, I mean, this really is a brilliant space. Um, I know I said before, but it is spread over 2,000, well, approximately 2,500 square feet, which if you actually are looking at properties at this price range, you'll realize that's a lot of house for the money. So this is just one of the entrances into the back garden lovely feel to it very private um, because you can't hear any road noise which is the benefit of having the private drive because you completely set back off the road you've got a lovely summer house which is currently being used as storage and then you've got lovely patio area here which goes back into the dining area you've got access out to where the parking is lovely water feature and I'll show you just through here as well You've got storage shed and little kind of vegetation patches. The vendors are currently just growing some herbs here. But again, just to give you an idea of the size, it's a reasonable garden, all kind of mostly laid to lawn. You've got some really nice mature shrubbery, nice well-stocked borders and lots of patio area as well. So you can sit out in the garden. Great. If you want to arrange a viewing, give us a call on 01789 414222. If you do have any further questions, feel free to give us a call as well or drop us an email. I really would recommend seeing this one. Um, it's just come. If you're watching this video, it's probably just come online. Um, again, as we do with most of our properties, we have already started conducting viewings on it. Um, feel free to give us a call. Many thanks. Bye for now.